Praktika. Practice. Like this. When somebody practices uh, meditation or some uh, japa repetition or just uh, study books, uh, scriptures and attend uh, lectures uh, in the temple or in Zendo, uh, after several years, uh, maybe 10 years uh, or 20 years, uh, It may happen that uh, he is losing uh, interest in uh, these occupations, in this number of occupations, and uh, it seems that uh, he is uh, uh, slowing down, uh, sticking off uh, from the group, uh, from the other practitioners who practice for 50 or 60 years and. They are doing, keeping going, they keep doing. In my case, uh, after 40, 42 years of uh, practicing meditation, uh, I just uh, stopped uh, everything, mantras, uh, study books and uh, meditation, sitting meditation, and I do nothing. I just lay down uh, on my sofa and sleep all days and watch movies and uh, television or browsing through internet. That's all I do. And uh, five years ago I finished my practice of meditation because I couldn't do it anymore. Mantras I was doing for two, three years and I had enough. It was like pulling teeth. Probably I'm not uh, fit to practice uh, Buddhism or Hinduism, Hare Krishna's, Bhakti Yoga or something like that. Uh, I have uh, this Bhagavad Gita uh, in two editions. One uh, by Prabhupada and another uh, by another Swami. I have here. Like this. Bhagavad Gita. Swami Mokundananda. Like that. I started to read it, but I didn't finish. It doesn't interest me. The ideas of Krishna about soul and eternity. Simply under a certain point, uh, until a certain point, I was doing these practices uh, correctly. Uh, every day, but uh, since uh, one day I stopped. I had stopped this uh, uh, traditional practicing and uh, I do it no more. I do nothing, just resting in don't know, in not understanding, not knowing in uh, non-thinking, uh, doing everyday uh, things during the day. Not many things. Vacuuming uh, carpets, uh, doing laundry, cooking, what else? shopping, groceries, going to the bank, uh, going for a walk for, for some time. And uh, that's all, that's all I do. Making up my bed. And then of story. I do not think else in my life. Similar situation was mentioned uh, with Maramana Maharishi. 
uh, once uh, a visitor came to him and he said uh, to the Maharishi uh, that uh, teacher uh, I am just uh, thinking uh, that I am uh, getting uh, in uh, state of getting up I'm getting down with my practice instead of developing uh, my uh, spirituality uh, I'm uh, stuck in stagnation and uh, my japa practice is not as good as it was before my uh, study of scriptures is uh, falling down my meditations are uh, unsuccessful I cannot meditate anymore uh, I just uh, doing uh, something wrong, maybe. Uh, can you help me to recover? So uh, Ramana Maharishi uh, scratched his head and he asked him, uh, "How have you um, come here?" And the guy said, uh, "By train." I took train from uh, Delhi and I came here to the station and uh, the rest of the way to your village uh, I just uh, made on foot. So uh, Maharishi asked him, why didn't you bring a train with yourself? So he said uh, to uh, Ramana, mm, how can I take train with myself? I left train on the station. I cannot take train with myself here. I don't need a train here. I just walk on my foot and that's it. So he said uh, to, uh, to the person, to a man, uh, uh, this is the same with uh, practice. You practice at a certain point, but why are you practicing? What do you practice? And uh, the man said, uh, I practice to uh, get the realization of enlightenment and to set free myself from my problems. So he just uh, uh, was uh, figuring, figuring out uh, where is uh, my thought? What's wrong with me? And uh, Ramana Maharishi said to him, There is nothing wrong with you, it is just uh, normal. And at the same point uh, you practice, and when you accomplish your practice, you don't need to practice anymore. You just enjoy uh, the results of your practice, the enlightenment. And enlightenment is your everyday life, enjoyment of everyday life. You came here to my village and you talked to me, like that. We are talking, we are speaking, and we are enjoying the moment. We drink tea, like this, and we smoke uh, some uh, cigarette. Uh, drink some wine and that's it that's uh, the accomplishment of your practice you don't need to bring uh, your train here with yourself train has a certain function it brought you to the station to the town and when you left the train you left uh, just forgot about the uh, train and just uh, came on, f on foot and you enjoy uh, the environment of the uh, village uh, and uh, nature, trees and garden and uh, the brook and uh, the buildings and animals and other people you don't bring train with yourself why, why didn't you bring train with yourself? And uh, the guy said, uh, uh, that's right, uh, just uh, train is uh, only to carry me on 
uh, to the station and uh, I don't need to train anymore. So Maharishi said, you don't need practice anymore. If you accomplish your practice, you don't need to practice anymore. Japa or meditation or study scriptures or something, uh, attending uh, some meetings and listening to teachings non-stop. You don't need these things because you already accomplished what you was looking for. And when you accomplish your goal, this careful means are not necessary anymore to help you to accomplish that goal. Like that. So there are people who are just practicing all, uh, uh, all life and they accomplish nothing. And there are people who practice uh, 20, 30 years and they accomplish uh, the goal of practice and they give up on uh, practicing. And they practice is just uh, their life. Instead of practicing sitting meditation and yesterday, they practice eating uh, lunch or eating breakfast or preparing lunch, peeling potatoes and cooking potatoes. That's uh, the accomplishment of enlightenment, like that. If you're sitting meditation but you don't know how to peel potatoes and how to prepare a meal for yourself, what is the purpose of your practice? What is the use? There is no use. You're only practicing, 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 sitting meditation. And you gain nothing from your meditations. Only practicing, non-stop, endlessly. Year after year, decade after decade, even life after life, lifetime after lifetime, you practice, 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 and you attain nothing. You was just busy in yourself with practicing. When you do these mantras on beats. I have rosary. Mala like this. I did oh mani pame 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 oh This is uh, practice uh, with japa and I, I was doing it for 30 years non-stop day in day out and I had enough of this and one day I uh, just uh, dropped it, dropped it down and uh, I forgot about this. No more. No more sitting meditation, no more reading books, scriptures. I have some books that to read. I don't know, maybe in future I will just browse uh, casually uh, through them. But for now, uh, they are not necessary. They are not needed anymore. Washing uh, tomato, slicing uh, cucumber, making salad, lettuce, adding dressing, like that, and eating. That is my practice. This is my meditation. Meditation is that meditation. Just everyday life. That's all. And if you practice uh, meditation uh, all day long, sitting, I heard uh, about the guy who was sitting on the bed of nails eight hours every day. That's crazy. That's for stupid. To sit on the wood, he put nails on that wood, 
and he was sitting in meditation nine hours every day. Like that. He called that practice. If you like, you can follow that practice. If you entertain yourself. If you want to entertain yourself like that. Then you can follow that practice. There is nothing wrong with that. But uh, if you accomplish uh, awakening, then there is transformation in your mind. And some ignorant you become awakened. And what is awakening? It's everyday life. Everyday mind is uh, awakening mind. And what is everyday mind? It's mind which is uh, dealing with everyday things. In good way. Maybe in perfect way. Doing your everyday things. Taking care of business, taking care of your family business. Like that. What can you do if your uh, John is uh, clogged? You call plumber. You cannot uh, dig by yourself in sheet to unclog the, the John, the toilet. Or your sink is clogged. You call uh, plumber, you talk to plumber, plumber coming, doing his job, and sink is unclogged, toilet is unclogged, and you can use. This is uh, the effect of meditation. If you are meditating and you cannot deal with plumber, what is the value of your meditation? There is no value in such meditation. If you don't know how to deal with your mother who is barking all the time on your, at, your, at you, well, what your meditation can help you with barking mother or gloomy father who doesn't allow you to, to listen and to chant kirtans of uh, Hare Krishna, Hare Rama in your room and makes trouble to you all the time. So accomplishment of meditation is uh, to know how to deal with such people, how to pacify the beats like that, how to make them happy, how to make them work workable, pacify them, so they don't don't bark at you anymore. And you feeling better. Not just sitting meditation and uh, dreaming, uh, daydreaming. Like that. <laughs> yeah. Oh.